जय हिंद चिल्ड्रन सो वी आर डूइंग द लेसन क्यूब्स एंड क्यूब रूट्स लेट एस वॉच दिस वीडियो बाय नाउ ऑल ऑफ अस नो हाउ टू फाइंड द क्यूब ऑफ अ नंबर सो थ्री वन क्यूब गिव्स अस ट्वेंटी सेवन इट मीन्स थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री इक्वल्स ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वॉट इज अ क्यूब रूट वेल द क्यूब रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन इज थ्री That's all. This is the most important concept of cube roots. The rest of the video will just focus on how cube roots are denoted and its application. So remember, three cubed is twenty-seven, and cube root of twenty-seven is three. Well, this is how the symbol of a cube root looks like: a root sign with a three here. So we can say that the cube root of twenty-seven is three. and as we saw in the square root video this root sign is called the radical and the number inside it is called the radicand or the base here's a better way to understand the concept of cubes 4 cubed equals 4 times 4 times 4 which equals 64 we all know this this 3 when taken to the other side becomes cube root hence we can say that the cube root of 64 equals 4 dear students welcome back to the second video of today's mathematics class in the first video you learned about how to find the cube of different numbers i hope you understood the concept of finding cubes very easily and you study different patterns and different properties of perfect cubes Now in this video you are going to study about the next section of your lesson that is cube roots how to find cube roots of a number already you know to find the cube of a number so how to find the cube root of a number it is very easy cube root is always the inverse operation of finding cubes in the square root chapter you learned that to find the square root of a square root of a number what do you want to do you want to do the inverse operation of finding a square that is the number we are squaring we will get the square of the number and the inverse operation will give you the square root similarly here also the cube root is the inverse operation of finding cube of a number now you see this cube roots to find the cube root of a number it is the inverse operation of finding cube so what you are doing to find the cube you are finding how you are finding you are multiplying the number itself by 3 times okay so the inverse operation of that finding cube is called to find cube root okay for example you see here 2 cube is equal to 8 you know So two cube is equal to eight means eight is the cube of two. Now you consider this inverse operation. So what does this mean? This means that two is the cube root of eight. Okay. So we can tell this in two ways. Eight is the cube of two, and two is the cube root of eight. Okay. So we say that the cube root of eight is two. Now, how to write the cube root symbol? You put the radical sign and put three here. This is called cube root. So, cube root of eight equal to two, and this symbol, put the square root symbol, radical sign, and three, it becomes which symbol? Cube root symbol. So, this is the symbol for cube root. Okay. So, just recall what are the things we studied here. So, note one. Numbers obtained when a number is multiplied by itself three times are known as cube numbers. Okay, so when you multiply a number three times by itself, they are called cube numbers. For example, one, eight, twenty-seven, etc. And in note two, you see, if in the prime factorization of any number, each each factor appears three times, then the number is a perfect cube. so when you do the prime factorization when you are getting the factors of the numbers as triplets that is three times 
then we can easily say that the given number is a perfect cube okay so here you see 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 64 can be written as 4 into 4 into 4 that means they are in triplets so triplets means this given number is a cube 8 is a cube 64 is a perfect cube okay so we can write this using the symbol cube root of 8 is equal to 2 cube root of 64 is equal to 4 okay so i hope you understood the correct meaning of cube and cube root now we are going to see some of the methods to find out the cube root of a given number now see this question cube root through prime factorization method so we are applying prime factorization method to find the cube root of a number so see this question find the cube root of 3375 by prime factorization method so our given number is 3375 so all of you do the factorization prime factorization that you know already so after doing the prime factorization you have to write by prime factorization we got all the factors see 5 into 5 into 5 3 into 3 into 3 so each factor are in three times triplets so how to write the answer cube root of the given number 3375 is equal to put the symbol cube root of 3375 now you want to write all the factors here inside the root cube root and how to find the cube root is from each triplet you want to take one number outside okay in the square root also we did like that no from each pair you are taking one number outside similarly here from each triplet you want to take the one number outside so here from this three threes you are having one three and from three fives you are having a five so three into five is 15 so this 15 is the cube root of the given number 3375 so what is the meaning of this 15 is the cube root of 3375 and 3375 is the cube of 15 that is when you multiply 15 three times you will get this number so that is the meaning of this uh, question okay to find the cube root now here is one more question we can solve now find the cube root of uh, 1,75,616 by prime factorization. So let us see how we are doing this. So from solution, let us first start by prime factorization. First write the number 175616. Okay. So because the last digit is an even number, it will go by 2. Always calculate for the prime factors. Now you see we have 8 twos are 16 remainder 1 7 twos are 14 again 8 twos are 16 and you see here this one is smaller so put 0 and then 8 twos are 16 now again 2 4 twos are 8 3 twos are 6 balance 1 9 twos are 18 0 4 twos are 8 again it will go by 2 2 twos are 4 1 2 is 2 balance 1 9 twos are 18 balance 1 5 twos are 10 2 twos are 4 now again it will go by 2 1 2 is 2 this one is smaller 0 then uh, 19 so 9 twos are 18 remaining 1 7 twos are 14 again 1 6 twos are 12 so again 2 5 twos are 10 4 twos are 8 balance 1 8 twos are 16 8 twos are 16 now again 2 2 twos are 4 7 twos are 14 4 twos are 8 4 twos are 8 you can continue by 2 1 2 is 2 3 twos are 6 7 twos are 14 2 twos are 4 so the process continues 2 6 twos are 12 8 twos are 16 6 twos are 12 again 2 3 twos are 6, 4 twos are 8, 3 twos are 6. Okay, so we got 343 now. Now it is the last digit 3 will not go by 2. Okay, now we go to 3. So to multiply for 3, 
to find out add the digits 3 plus 4 7 plus 3 10 it will not go by 3 the sum is 10 and again it will not go by 3 also so try for 7 here 5 also it will not go so just do for 7 I think it will go for 7 so 7 for how many times 4 7s are 28 okay so remaining 6 9 7 are 63 yes now again 49 is the square of 7 7 7 are 49 then again 1 7 is 7 so you got all the factors now now all the factors you want to collect and write in the answer part so we got we got uh, 175616 is equal to first write all the factors so here 2 2 yes 2 into 2 into 2 1 triplet the next again 2 into 2 into 2 second triplet again third triplet is also 2 2 into 2 into 2 after that you get 7 7 into 7 into 7 so these are the factors of this given number therefore our required cube root cube root of this 175616 is equal to right inside the symbol 175616 is equal to okay so what i said from each triplet you want to take one number and multiply okay so I am writing the answer directly from this 3 2's you are taking 1 2. So when you are taking outside the factor 1 don't want to put the root symbol ok. So 2 into from this 3 2's again 1 2 and from this 3 2's again 1 2 then you are taking from each 7 1 7 ok. So what you got here 2 into 2 4. 4 into 2, 8. 8 into 7, yes, 56. So we got answer 56. So therefore, the cube root of 175616 is equal to 56. So what does this mean? Yes, that means that 56 is the cube root of this number. And when you multiply 56 3 times, you will get the cube as this answer. Okay. So, hope all of you understood the problem. Now, see this third question. Find cube root of 110592 by the method of prime factorization. So, already I have done the factorization here. So, all of you do this. So, we got all the factors now. Now, we want to write the answer solution. So we got, so what is the uh, answer? You want to write all the factors now. 110592 is equal to, yes, 2. 2 we got 3 times. 2 into 2 into 2. The next triplet, 2 into 2 into 2. Then again one triplet of 2. 2 into 2 into 2. Again, triplet of 2, 2 into 2 into 2, then finally triplet of 3, that is 3 into 3 into 3. So therefore, our required part, cube root of 110592 is equal to, what you want to do? From each triplet, you want to take one number and multiply. So here, from this 1, 2, then here 1, 2, here 2 then again 2 then 3 ok so here we got uh, 4 triplets of 2 and 1 triplet of 3 now you multiply the answer 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 and 16 3s are 48 ok so therefore we got cube root of 110592 that is 1,10,592 is equal to 48. So that means 
48 is the cube root of the given number. Have you ever played with a Rubik's Cube? The Rubik's Cube has six sides, six colors, and 54 tiles. Have you ever wondered how many cubes make up a Rubik's Cube? Let's take a closer look at a Rubik's Cube. Just like a Rubik's Cube, any cube has six square faces of the same size. All of its edges are equal in length. The volume of this cube is 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter, or 1 cubic centimeter. Let's see how many 1 cubic centimeter cubes make up one larger cube. The volume of this cube is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 2 cube or 8 cubic centimeters. The volume of a cube is obtained by multiplying the side length by itself twice. Now see this question. This is a word problem from your exercise 7.1. The question is, Parikshit makes a cuboid of plasticine of sides 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. Okay. How many such cuboids will he need to form a cube? Okay. So the question is, Parikshit, he is a boy, he makes a cuboid. He makes the model of a cuboid of plasticine that is a material. And uh, using this, he made a cuboid of this dimension that is 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. What are the dimensions of a cuboid, children? That is length, breadth, and height. Okay, so using this three dimension, he made a cuboid. Now, the question is so you know, a cuboid it is having three dimensions length, breadth, and height. Okay, yes, so likewise, so consider this is a cuboid of length 5 cm, breadth 2 cm and height also 5 cm. So he is going to arrange, arrange this cuboids and he want to finally make a cube formation. So the question is how many such cuboids? So, like this cuboid, how many numbers he need to form a cube formation? So, how many such cuboids will he need to form a cube? Okay. So, how many cuboids are needed of this type to form a cube formation? And you know in a cube, what is the speciality? All the sides of a cube are equal. Okay. So, you know, uh, here there are three dimensions. So, when you arrange two cuboids together, the length will be added, the breadth will be added and height will also be added. So, how many cubes, cuboids are necessary of this type to form a cube? Okay. So, here the meaning of this problem is the given number is the dimension of a cuboid. We need to make the number into a cube, perfect cube. Okay, so you studied in the first video how we want to convert a number into a perfect cube. Okay, 
so you want to determine the factors and which factor is less there you want to uh, multiply with that factor to convert into a cube that we studied earlier so that method is applied here actually okay so how to do this problem is given the dimensions of the cuboid so first it was a cuboid equal to 5 centimeter 2 centimeter 5 centimeter okay yes now uh, we have we have the volume you can say volume of the cuboid volume of the cuboid you know l into b into h so that is 5 into 5 uh, 5 into 2 okay so this is the volume of the cuboid centimeter cube yes now what is our aim we want to convert this into a cube okay so here you see in this factors we can see 5 is not in triplet 1 5 is less similarly 2 is also not in triplet we need how many 2's 2 more 2's to make this into a triplet okay so here 1 5 is less and 2 number of 2's are less so you can write like this since there is there is only one two and only two five okay two fives and one two in the prime factorization in the prime factorization we need 2 into 2 into 5 what is the meaning of this in order to convert this factorization into a cube we need 1 5 and 2 twos. what is the value of this 2 into 2 4 into 5 20 so we need a 20 more to convert this into a cube okay so 20 to make a perfect cube understand so here you see when you multiply these three numbers 5 into 5 25 into 2 50 5 into 5 25 into 2 50 but you know 50 is not a perfect cube number but when you multiply this 50 by 20 correct so this 50 is already there multiplied by this 20 what is the answer yes 1000 so 1000 is a perfect cube what is the cube root of 1000 10 10 into 10 into 10 is 1000 so that means this 1000 is a perfect cube so what was the volume of the cuboid first it was 50 only but when you multiplied that cuboid volume by 20 more you got a perfect cube so this is the conclusion of our answer so here how many such cuboids will he need so this is the required answer he need how many cuboids 20 cuboids so that is the final answer therefore uh, he need he need 20 such cuboids to make a cube so that is our final answer okay so here actually the meaning of the question is how many number of a number is necessary how many factors are necessary to convert this given number into a cube okay so we need how many 20 cuboids in the arrangement to convert this into a cube now students we are going to see one more method to find the cube root of a cube number okay 
so that method is called estimation method so actually estimation in estimation method we are not doing any calculation we are not doing any multiplication or anything just by seeing the number given in the question we can say what is the cube root of this given number okay so this is a method that we are using to find the cube root of a given number without any calculation so this also you should know for uh, writing the cube root of given numbers using your estimation okay you want to estimate so this method is called estimation method so here there is a rule to uh, do the problem the estimation method for finding the cube root of a number can be used only if the given number is a cube number so that is the condition to apply estimation method for a given number the condition is the given number should be a cube number okay so if the given number is a cube then we can find the cube root using this estimation method but if the number is not a cube number for example if the number is 100 100 is a cube number no 100 is not a cube number 65 it is a cube number no this is also not a cube number so we can find the cube root of a number by estimation method only if the given number is a cube number if i am taking the number 1000 thousand is a cube number okay so this method is applicable only for cube number so that is very important so now in this estimation method we have to follow certain steps to find out the cube root of a number so let us discuss those steps first with an example now here i have written a cube number that is 857375 this is already a cube number okay so this is a cube number so for a cube number only we can apply this method so consider the cube number 857375 now your step 1 what is the step 1 first step is you want to divide the number into two groups two groups means three digits in each group so here if i am writing the number once again 857375 so this is the given number so from the right side from the units place you want to divide the number in three digits so this three digits is one group and this three digits is second group so we can say 375 is the first group and 857 is the second group so we divided the given number by making groups of three digits starting from the right side of the number okay so this three numbers form one group this three numbers form second group so this is the first step of this estimation method now what is the second step step 2 okay so first take the first group now in the first group we have the number 375 okay so in this first group the units digit of the cube you want to see so now this 375 the units digit of 375 is 5 okay now you know already the given number is a cube and this 5 is coming in the units place already you learned in the properties of cube numbers that if the cube number is having the units digit 5 then its cube root will have which digit yes cube root means if the units digit of cube root is 5 then 5 into 5 into 5 that will give you the last digit of the cube so here the cube root the cube number is having the units digit 5 means of course the cube root will also have the unit digit as 5 so this 
from this we can determine the units digit of the required cube root okay so here you want to write therefore the units units digit of the cube root required is 5 so how we write this you see the units digit of this number this first group number so here it is 5 so to get 5 in the units digit of a cube number we know that its cube root is also having units digit 5 so thus we got in our answer we are going to find the cube root of this number okay so in this number the cube roots units digit we got now it is 5 okay so that step is over now come to the third step what is the third step in the third step we are taking which number the second group number so take the number in the second group what is that number that is 857 so this is the number in the second group now you want to calculate this number the second group 857 number is coming in which coming in between two what are the two cubes in between this number we are getting so already you know that 1 cube is 1, 2 cube 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 6 into 6 into 6 that is 216, 7 cube is equal to 343. 8 cube is equal to 512. 9 cube is equal to 9 into 9 into 9. That is 729. 10 cube is equal to 1000 etc. Now what we are going to do in our cubes. This number 857 lie between what two numbers. So clearly when you see the cubes of this number, we can understand that 857 comes between 9 cube and 10 cube. Because 9 cube is 729, 10 cube is 1000. So this 857 lie between these two numbers. Okay. So that is the step we are doing in step 3. That is we know that we know. 9 cube is equal to 729, 10 cube is equal to 1000. So therefore, this 857 lies between 729 and 1000. Okay, 729 and 1000 between only this 857 is there. Now what we are doing, we take, we take the ones place the ones place of the smaller number of the smaller number as the tens place of the required cube root okay so what is the meaning of this we found two numbers in between 857 is there and among this you want to select the smaller number we take the ones place of the smaller number so here we take the ones place of the smaller number as the tens place of the required cube root so here you find out the two numbers in between this 857 is coming so 857 is coming between 9 cube and 10 cube. Now what you want to do we take the ones place of the smaller number. So from this 2 cubes which is the smaller number here 
9. 9 cube is the smaller number. So from this 2 cubes in between 857 is there. We want to select the smaller number. We take the ones place of the smaller number. So already you know the smaller number here is 9. It is having only one digit. So take that number as the tens place of the required cube root. So already we have the ones place of our cube root is 5. Now we got the one tens place of the required cube root as 9. So therefore you want to write therefore the tens place or tens digit of the required cube root is this smaller numbers ones digit so that is 9 okay so we got the units digit of the root cube root is 5 and tens digit of the cube root is 9 thus thus the cube root of cube root of our number 857375 is right within the symbol cube root of 857375 is equal to the units digit is 5 we got and now we got the tens place 9 so our answer is 95 so that is the method of finding the cube root of a number by estimation method Dear students, hope all of you understood the topic today. Complete all the problems from the exercise 7.2 as homework. So this chapter is over today. Next class we will come with a new chapter. Thank you students.